with a patient in this position, it is possible to reach and sample most masses in the axilla. The mass is localized and then trapped against the chest wall with the fore and middle fingers. The thumb of the same hand is used to stretch and flatten the skin below the target to ease access for the needle. Access is made easier by having the operator sitting at the slightly lower level than the patient. It is important that the patient does not move away during the procedure. This can be prevented by giving the patient support in the upper back area. Another challenge is represented by masses under the sternocleidomastoid muscle. These may be large, causing the muscle to bulge, or small and difficult to detect under the muscle. In both cases, it is wise to avoid penetrating the muscle in order to sample the mass. Instead, the lump should be held by grabbing around the muscle, allowing the fingers to support it in the back, and the thumb to palpate it directly through the skin in front. Then, without loosening the grip, the thumb is allowed to slide down slightly, stretching the skin over the target. The skin is cleansed, and the needle is entered for sampling. The target may be sampled from the posterior aspect in a similar way. When aspirating small targets close to a vessel, the needle should be tangential to the vessel wall. Also, try to take advantage of the long axis of the target if there is one. This allows for longer needle excursions and therefore a better chance for good material. To avoid pneumothorax when aspirating small lesions on the chest wall, insert the needle at an angle. This is useful also in patients with lesions in small breasts. Breast cancer recurrence on the chest wall is often intracutaneous, very fibrous, and thin. Use a 26 gauge or smaller needle and enter the target from the side. This can be quite painful and I would recommend infiltrating with local anesthesia under the lesion. This concludes the demonstration of thin needle aspiration biopsy. I hope this video will be useful to you in your practice. Thank you.